Biofeedbacks. What do you need to use for an X7 generator biofeedback? Well, you need Spooky 2 Pulse, you need the X7 generator to supply the signal, you need Spooky 2 Boost 3.1, TENS pads and cable, or you can use a Spooky 2 remote. Can Spooky 2 biofeedback diagnose health issues? No, it can't. Spooky 2 cannot replace a trained medical professional. After a biofeedback scan, all Spooky will do is give a report of the database matches that were found, which match the hits from the biofeedback scan. How often should you do a biofeedback scan? Well, generally every seven or even four days is highly recommended as your treatment progresses, your health condition changes, and biofeedback is a way of monitoring the treatments. If you're using contact mode, you can even do biofeedback scans. What are the best range of frequencies to test yourself when you do a biofeedback scan? Well, Spooky 2 comes with presets to help you in decisions like this. You choose a biofeedback scan that suits your needs, there are fast scans, which are not quite so accurate, and there are longer scans, which are more precise. You just select the preset, choose the generator you want to run the, uh, the preset on, and then you run it. And everything else is taken care of. Now, why does the estimated time for a biofeedback scan differ from the actual scan time? Well, when you're using Spooky 2 Pulse, the Spooky 2 Pulse unit listens to your heart and listens to changes in your heartbeat. Everyone's got different heartbeat rates. If you've naturally got a very fast heartbeat rate, then the biofeedback scan will be reduced in time. If you've got a very slow heart, then you'll be waiting longer. Can you watch TV while you're doing a biofeedback scan? Well, no. Absolutely not. When you're watching a romantic comedy or if you're watching a horror movie, both of those types of movies are going to affect your heart rate quite significantly. And Spooky 2 will see each one of the romantic moments or scary moments as a hit in the biofeedback scan. And it will give bad results. It's best to be in a room which is, hasn't got any distractions or interruptions, just to be calm let yourself get into a good frame of mind, and then perform the biofeedback scan. If you do this, the quality of the results will be higher.